Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Today we get to celebrate Palm Sunday, or the beginning of our Passion Week. I'd like to review three different parts of Passion Week. Uh, from the framework of, of Palm Sunday. First of all, the Old Testament, which predicted the occurrence of Christ the Savior coming to the East Gate, riding a donkey triumphantly, to then the Gospels, which then describe exactly what happened on those days, and that was listed in Matthew, Luke, and John, and Mark, and then I'd like to talk about Palm Sunday from the view of the donkey. So first of all, I'd like for you to remember the prophets which we have depicted in our church. In particular, we have the Old Testament describing this event in both from Psalms, Isaiah, Zechariah, Ezekiel. They describe the event of a savior coming from the East Gate for the people, for the Jews, for salvation. What the Jews were actually looking for is a savior from the oppression of the Romans. But what Christ had in mind was his triumphant entry, not to free from the Romans the Jew, but instead to be there for salvation to free us from Satan, from free us, to free us from our sins so that we could someday have eternal life with him. The Gospels documented Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and they described the occurrence of coming from Bethany and Bethphage to Jerusalem. So they came from the east, going into the east gate, which is part of what the prophets described. And as they came from the East Gate, Christ asked two of his disciples that were unnamed, but asked two of the disciples to go into town to find a donkey and the colt or the foal and bring them to him. And if the master asked, tell them that they would be returned. And so the Gospels document this. And as the Gospels document this, I believe that he is also telling us that those of us who give always receive. So that person that let go his donkey and foal knew he would come back many fold. The foal is important because the foal is an unridden donkey, usually very wild. And to think that Christ triumphantly rode a very wild animal, a foal of a donkey, in for this glorious Hosanna day. Now, it's, it, it's different than what we're used to. When King Solomon came, or King David came into Jerusalem, they rode a white stallion. Most conquerors would come as a, as a knight or a white stallion riding this horse for triumph. Instead of that, Christ chose a humble appearance, and psalms were rendered because psalms were always very important to the people at that time, showing grace, showing success. In fact, King Solomon put it on the doors. There were coins with psalms on those because that pictured success. So the Gospels also describe what occurred. And then lastly, I'd like to think of Palm Sunday from the view of the donkey. Why the view of the donkey? Well, the donkey was tethered. And Christ said to be untethered and follow him. And isn't that like all of us? We're all tethered every day. We're tethered by work. We're tethered by the phone. We're tethered by all these desires of what happens to us in our daily life. But Christ is here, releasing that tether. So once we're released, we should be seeking virtues, virtues that are given by the Holy Spirit. 
virtues such as love, compassion, learning how to pray. So Christ came to free us from these materialistic things into those heavenly morals. And by doing that, we're freed from Satan and those sins to learn and to follow everlasting life. Only through Christ and through the Holy Spirit. Amen. So Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord.